Well, I got 1245 on the East Coast as we welcome you inside Studio J in Atlanta, where we never close. Super early. It's Inside the NBA. It's what? presented by Kia. What do you have to do? We have to do. Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Are you? He has nowhere. He has anywhere to go. Oh, I know where Nothing he's going. Do. Full dog closed already. <laughs> It's 11th Street, man. Hey. 11th Street. Hey, say well, it's not the same until Chuckster gets there, That's right. as a matter of fact. Say less. But let's go through some highlights, shall we? Four yeah. games on this Thursday night as we make our way toward the All-Star break. And out there in Los Angeles, LeBron didn't play, but honored pregame after setting the uh, all-time scoring record in the NBA. Got some new Lakers who are going to make their appearance in time and Giannis and the Bucks coming in with an eight game winning score. Oh my god, man. Yeah. That's crazy athleticism. <laughs> oh, good. Say it with a little more enthusiasm, will you, Chuckster? That was Rui Hachimura. And then Austin Reed oh, with a crossover on the Greek freak. Reggie went crazy. AI. Hey, Jordan. Oh, I like the little push off, too. And Lonnie Walker to Anthony Davis over Brooke Lopez. Lonnie. And the Lakers up six. Lonnie Walker played with a lot of energy. Chris like Middleton it. starting to round into form. He had 22 on this night. Tough shot. Yeah. Boy, looking like Rex Chapman out there. Reeves at 13 in the Let's first get, half, and the Lakers were up eight Let's at the get break. Get away now. He ain't no Rex Chapman. And then Milwaukee outscored him 38 to 23 in the third oh, quarter. Oh goodness! What kind of wall is that? Just dunk at Giannis him. had 12 in the quarter. I love Drew watching. Holiday had 14 in the quarter, and Milwaukee starting to take over. Oh, Middleton. We head to the fourth. Walker there for mid-range, and then Dennis Schroeder Cash for out. three, and we are tied at 94. Oh, good D. Yeah, good look back inside oh. to Giannis for a couple. And then Bucks in transition, and the touchdown pass. Ah. Oh, get them knees up, Giannis. Shaq like. Oh, too easy. Man, too easy, too good. How's 38, 10, and 6 sound to you? Oh, that sounds very impressive. Came in averaging 32, 12, and 5. 28th time he's had at least 30 points and his 11th straight double-double. The Bucks 115 to 106 winners. They're the number one rebounding team in the, in the NBA. And tonight, 51 boards, their seventh straight game with at least 50 rebounds, and they're 33 and 2 now. When they take a lead to the fourth quarter, they win at 115 to 106. We brought up uh, as we talked to Giannis after the game too. Now the addition of of uh, Jay Crowder to this team. Jay Crowder's been in the league for 10 years. He's made it to the playoffs the last nine straight, and I, I think it just speaks, and you guys speak to it, of of how adding a piece like that, which is not a marquee name, but it can make a team complete. He's not a good other, he's a great other. Uh, he's not gonna do too much. Uh, he already knows his role. I know he hasn't met with the team, but he knows get the ball to Giannis. Giannis gonna get doubled, it's gonna be a wall there. Get to your spot, Dre Crowder, he can hit an open shot. And he's tough, they already got a tough guy, Bobby Portis. So imagine him and Bobby on the floor at the same time, you had a lot of toughness, but he's a great other. He reminds me of a, a Rick Fox and an Antoine Walker. He can make a play when you need it. Great pickup from, for the Bucks. You know, Ernie, and they've done this too with Bobby Portis out for the last seven games and haven't lost a game. Uh, you know, every player, every first of all, every person, but all players have egos. When you have selfless players who like, I know I'm not going to get a lot of shots. Some nights I'm going to get more shots than others. I'm just going to do my job. That's to me what Jay Crowder is. You know, when guys start complaining about I'm not getting enough playing time, I'm not getting enough shots, that's when you don't, when your others are not successful. He's just going to do it. I've been watching him in Phoenix for the last few years. I, you know, he was in Miami for a minute. He just comes to work. He going, some nights, like I say, some nights he going to get 12 shots. Some nights he going to get five shots. But he going to always play great defense. And the one thing that Shaq just said, 
you can never have enough hard working tough players never yeah if you look at the, the the new nba you know that plays six eight and under a lot of times then your your six eight and under guys have to be able to one be super athletic to block shots which which particularly he's not or they have to be able to keep people in front of you and he can do that he could keep people in front of him and you put him on the floor with Drew Holiday, an all-defensive player, Giannis, an all-defensive player, Matthews, who's emerging as a possible defensive all one, two, three team kind of guy. So now you can put, you can have arguably the best defensive team in basketball uh, on the floor. And right uh, now they got the number out. three, the number three but defensive rating in I the didn't NBA. Know that, but yeah, but, so but, the, but the, the thing that's really going to help them, I still think my uh, Milwaukee the team to beat the Eastern Conference. But bringing in a guy like Jay Crowder, when you have to go against Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, you need more guys because those to me more people. Those two <laughs> guys are the two. Those, those are the two best teams in the Eastern Conference, in my opinion. I like Milwaukee, but Boston because of Jalen and Jason, he's going to be perfect. I don't think you can stop great players, but if you get these guys six fouls and you make Jalen and Jason work hard, that's a really huge advantage for Milwaukee. 115-106, they win it. Before the All-Star break, they have the Clippers tomorrow night on the road, home against Boston, and then at Chicago on Thursday before the break.